So in this video, we're going to talk about some new points for Major League Fishing and who's in and who could be out for the 2025 season. If you like this kind of content, do me a favor, click that like and subscribe button, become part of the team and the family. So before I get started, I should give you some background because I'm going to be wrong from time to time and I don't mind it. If you can help me become a better person to relay the message or the information out to people, I don't mind. Just like the majority of the time, I don't mind if you, if I tell you, if I say a person's name wrong and it's wrong. I don't know everybody, but the background I have is probably back 15, 16, 17, 18 years ago, I was a I did a radio show called Fishing Florida Radio. It was the largest fishing show in the state of Florida broadcast live on all sorts of syndicated radio stations. And for years, it was just talk about what was going on in our area in Central Florida and in Florida. And at one point in time, I thought it might be really cool to start interviewing anglers and TV stars and movie stars and anyone that I, in athletes, who enjoyed fishing. So I would reach out to their people and you never knew who I would talk to from anglers to, like I said, movie, grade A movie stars. So I have a little bit of background and I know a lot of people. So when I say thank you or I apologize for getting someone's name wrong, I apologize. I try to do my best, but that's the background I have. And in saying that, I have to give Steve Pellerin, and I apologize if I mispronounce your name, Steve, but Steve private messaged me or DM'd me or commented on YouTube on my last video saying that I had the points wrong. I was going by the points by the angler of the year total points and then he told me and I'm looking at it while I'm looking over there that Major League Fishing actually used in their equation for the angler of the year points that they put in the heavy hitters which shouldn't count towards the angular of the year positioning so what I did was I went back in from 2019 to today it's Wednesday just before state championships for Thomas and went back in and did every angler on where their final position was in the angular of the year standings, not the total points, the standings, because that's the way they're going to do their formula. Now, I did not take out the worst year because they're gonna take out the worst year if you fished over three years. And I didn't take it out because this year could be their worst year. Probably not because the majority of the anglers are gonna take off the 2020 season because there were only four tournaments that year. And the points just, they're just not very high because there wasn't a lot of tournaments. So technically I should go back in and remove most of the 2020 things, but at this point in time, I'm not sure if the 2024 season is gonna be the worst or that 2020 season is gonna be the worst. From there, we've calculated or got the total points and then the average point or their average finish over that 2029 to 2024 season. And while there is not a lot of difference between what I, the video I did before to this video, there are some slight changes. These, this right now is gonna take into effect the rookies too. So having, just having said that, this is the bottom 20 anglers that are probably outside looking in because they're only going to take 60 anglers and then they're going to take the top five from the invitationals. So these 20 anglers are the bottom 20 from 80th down to 61st. Anglers like Kobe Schumpf, who's a rookie, Jason Vance, Gray Buck, Boyd Duckett, Cliff Crochet, Kelly Jordan, Keith Carson, John Murray, Jacopo Galelli, probably really butchering that name, Joshua Weaver, Gary Klein, James Watson, Marty Robinson, David Walker, Matt Lee, Brandon Coulter, Britt Myers, Scott Suggs, Skeet Reese, and Shin Fukai is at the 61st position. I'll also throw it up in there too. Also, 60th is Randy Howell, and 59th is Dean Rojas. So again, those anglers are the ones outside the bubble of that top 60 who could make next year's 2025 season if you went by the top 60 anglers. And there'll probably be some some definite differences because the rookies and some of the guys that don't have as many years on the uh, BPT as others, probably their rankings will be slightly changed. But if we go by just what we can calculate right now, those 20 anglers are the anglers that won't be coming back for 2025. So hopefully I've got it a little more correct. I'm still gonna do both. I'm gonna do the points and then the AOI. I think that's just a good way to keep it just as much in track other than it's a pain in the ass but i want to know how it is 
So if you like this kind of content, please hit that like and subscribe button and comment below and tell me what you think. Tell me who you think out of those 20 has the best chance of getting out and being part of the 2025 season for MLF. That'll be, that's the key. Because you have like Boyd Duckett and Gary Klein, to be honest, I don't think Boyd Duckett can make it any way you look at it. He could, he had would have to go on an absolute ridiculous tear to get a ton of points this year to bring his average up because he is constantly on the bottom. He is constantly on the bottom. And he's the, one of the owners, or he's the, the face of MLF. So it'll be interesting to see how it goes, but that's what I got so far. So thanks again for hitting that like and subscribe button. Make sure you take a kid fishing. Get your fish on. Comment below and tell me what you think. I'll talk to you soon. Cheers. And thanks, Steve.